first with Vivek Bansal, senior leader of the Congress party, the choice the Prime Minister has presented is a stark one. And he says that at the end of the day, the voters will put their faith in those political parties, principally the BJP, because it's clean. It's clean as a whistle. And that's the reason why it's winning. That's the reason why it has set down roots. It has a connect with the public. How do you respond to this, Mr. Bansar? Can you hear me? Mr. Bansal, can you hear me or are you there with us? Okay, Sanjay Jha, why don't you take that question first? Uh, Rahul, I just heard uh, the excerpt of the uh, speech of Mr. Modi and I'll be very honest with you, I laughed. I laughed uncontrollably and actually had to walk off the screen and I've just returned because it was a fit of wild laughter. My wife had to actually tell me, are you okay, Sanjay, what's happened? Who's tickled you? What's the joke? So now let me answer you. Mr. Modi talked of corruption. I mean, for God's sake, I mean, this has got to be the height of hypocrisy and double standards. I mean, Mr. Modi is talking of corruption at a time when the Karnataka government led by the BJP is called as a 40% commission government. And let me tell you what the WhatsApp joke on that is. They're saying that the commission is so high that the BJP should call it the Karnataka <laughs> High Commission. I mean, you know, people are now in Bangalore. You need to move beyond rhetoric. Look, the Prime Sorry. Minister and the BJP will turn around and say, and, and uh, you know, Shahzad Punawala is here, yeah, that this is very that. rich, Sanjay Jha, coming from a party where Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi are out on bail. Mm -hmm. And this is a court case we are talking about, out on bail, mm -hmm. because they have been accused of taking tax officials for a ride. Okay, now let me so answer I, you I want you to now. answer... Apples yeah. to apples, not rhetoric okay. to, you know, uh, what you conceive and perceive and perceptions. No, let's talk about corruption cases. So okay. you have two leaders that are actually at the fulcrum of the party that are out on bail, sir. Mm -hmm. And this bail has not been granted by Modi or the case has not been foisted upon your leadership by the BJP. This is a court which has snubbed you even when you said that this particular case, and you know the case I'm talking about, mm -hmm. it pertains to huge assets which were okay, now let me kept in you. trust. No, hang on. Kept in trust mm -hmm. by the public with the Congress party, but have ended up in a trust fund mm -hmm. for the Gandhis. That's the case we are talking about, sir. And okay. on that case, neither mm -hmm. has your petition saying that this case is a witch hunt, etc., should be shut down. The courts have not agreed to that. And in fact, your two leaders are out on bail. Now, you tell me if this is not an indictment. Okay, now let me answer you. Yeah, please. Firstly, firstly the technical legal argument, it is not an indictment, right? The case is still on. And I can tell you, like several BJP cases against the Congress, like coal and 2G, nothing will be established. Now, let me quickly answer your question. Karnataka government is called a 40% commission government. Mr. Modi should have some degree of, I would say, decency as to not insult the viewers of your program by talking grandstanding on corruption at this point of time. Just because he's the prime minister doesn't give him the luxury of indulging in, you know, kind of insulting... Again, sir, you're being rhetorical. I'm talking anyway, about... Adani. The, I am talking Adani. about a case... No, no, one second, sir. Modi talk of Adani? Is there not a Supreme Court, is there not a committee that has been set up by the Supreme Court to look into the allegations that have been made? And it's, a, it's an inquiry that has been set up by the Supreme Court. Why? Because it's a Congress leader who came and filed a petition. Is this not a fact, Sanjay Jha? Yes or no? Uh Rahul, Rahul, I'll tell you the other fact that you have but chosen is anyone, to ignore. Has anyone have out on bail in this case? Have you, no, no, one minute, Rahul, let me give you a counter argument. You are now having an unprecedented, embarrassing situation, a mockery of India's parliamentary democracy, where the ruling party doesn't want a conversation on Adani and the prime minister in parliament. They have disrupted parliament. They are actually, in my again, opinion... Again, again they, rhetoric, they, they, sir. Rhetoric. I am, talking about, I am talking about a hard fact. I am talking about the fact that two of, of your leaders oh. are out on bail. 
They are your supreme commanders. This is Sonia Gandhi who is running in effect law, right? through the by law, second, sir, person please allow me. Who out. was running the UPA for ten years? Number one. I'm just saying, sir. Let's let's compare apples to apples. Is Modi or is Mr. Nadda out on bail in any particular corruption case? I'm only asking you this question. But Rahul, can, you know it. You're a veteran media man. Yes, sir. I've known you for a long time, and I respect your your professional contribution to exactly. media. You know it under this government. Do you think anybody from the BJP, the great washing machine of this country, will ever be indicted or charge cheated? No, why? Not just just two days heaven. ago, a BJP yes, MLA Mr. accused Kant, of corruption. No, no, hang on. Just two days ago, a BJP MLA That's accused of corruption question. in Karnataka, the state that you're talking about, sir. Right. Just two days back, a BJP MLA accused of corruption by the Lok Ayukta has been arrested for bribery. After how many days? It doesn't matter. He's arrested, isn't he? Because it's black and white, sir. It's like Bangaru Lakshman. So, only, so Bangaru Lakshman, what happened? Was he not arrested? So, but he was so let's then compare. Killed. So then let's compare. So you have faith what in our agencies. You have faith in our him? agencies. One second, what sir. Happened? I can't argue with four I... people at one time. So I'm yeah. just saying, if you have faith in our agencies, if you believe that the agencies have done a good job in getting hold of this BJP MLA and putting him behind bars, then they must be doing a good job without fear or favor. Well, Why has uh, Mamta Banerjee, for example, asked three of her leaders to resign? Yeah, uh, Rahul, I respect the other panelists. I don't want to take too much of the yes. time to monopolize this program. I think Anand and other people would love to speak as well. In short, my only last line, <laughs> the Bharti Janata Party after the Adani scam that I think, in my opinion, Mr. Modi looked fearful today. I watched his expression. He looked okay. a little worried. Okay. He was anxious. There was the usual political okay. rhetoric. I don't think anybody takes it seriously. Okay, no the one takes it seriously. The opposition is asking, Adani or Aapka Rishta kya jara bata dije. Okay. Why okay. is Mr. No one Modi takes it so seriously. scared? What dare okay. kyu hai? Fair enough. What no one takes it seriously. Let me, let me build on facts where Sanjay Jha has abandoned that. Now, let me ask you, Shadad Punala, number one. I've never heard of Sanjay Jha wanting to quickly give over the floor to somebody else, but that's no, no, fine. No, 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 no. That we, means we that. Okay, so one minute. Yeah, we are Shadha, democratic. Okay, Shadha, 